Hi guys, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plaster. What I'm going to show you guys today is how Marvin wants their windows installed. A lot of different windows, a lot of different companies we work for. We got Pella Anderson, just, just to name two of their competitors. Marvin says, according to the seminar, okay, they want on the wood, they want a graced membrane or comparable. On that membrane, they want a DuPont flashing or comparable. Then they go ahead and attach the window. After that is attached, we put the, another system directly over it before even the paper. These are bulletproof. I'll show you. These are kind of a drag to put on because they stick to everything. On a hot day in the sun, good luck doing this stuff here. Anyhow, we're going to do the sides and we're going underneath this paper here. The paper's in great condition still. So, let's see if I get in here. And I take my side as best I can, like so, and then I'll fish it underneath the paper here, just like that. And then, of course, I already have my top pre-cut, and my top is going to go under here, like that. So this way, this water, this uh, Marvin window is it's pretty bulletproof. They even have a Z flashing for it, so. This window cannot leak if done according to their specifications. Okay, we're we're now even covered the Z flashing. Of course, I marked all my pieces out here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take. I put blue tape here to get all this stuff out of my way. Okay, now our two layers more of paper go on this. Dan, grab me a tube of Sikaflex polyurethane caulking, please. Okay. I'm going to do this side just like that. Then I'm going to take my utility knife. Generally, I'll put a new blade on because I want a nice cut right here. I'm following the window frame. And no, I'm not going to cut the, the membrane that I just put down on it. I'm aware of where that membrane is. So. I'm cutting this, and if I cut a little too much, then I'm gonna have to use more caulking. All right, guys. I put two more layers here because this is in pretty good condition on this side. This was a little beat up, so I tacked it down. And here's another key thing, uh, a really good caulking. Uh, whatever caulking folks choose, that's their business. I kind of prefer this uh, polyurethane. I've been using this for years. It's never let me down, so. I'm going to continue with it, and now that what we generally do, we'll get, I'm going to go ahead and do the side here. I'm not going to caulk the bottom. Uh, this window is designed to weep where the water goes, if, if say, for example, water ever went through here, it hits this, hits this, and drips harmlessly on our stucco and out our weep street. It's designed for that, so no, I'm not going to do anything with this bottom. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead now and button it up. And what I'm generally using is a staple gun, the self furred wire, which means I don't have to use furry nails. So you get the idea, and I'm going to staple it all the way around, cut off some of the clunkers. And that's the proper way to do a weather barrier for a Marvin window, especially if you go to their seminar. They're going to tell you exactly that right there. I'll save you the trip of going to a seminar. Anyhow, my name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Thank you, folks, for watching. And as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one.